Hey everyone, this is just a quick uh, update um, for this week. So yeah, I've taken a week off uh, for a little bit of R&R &R and also work on some of my own personal program projects. So I've been working on a couple of things and I recorded some footage that I'd like to show you. Um, so um, yeah, uh, enjoy. Hey everyone, um, I've been working on a little lap the past few days. So um, a friend of mine has been doing a bi-daily uh, YouTube stream and I have a, a Discord chat and uh, obviously the chat's coming in from YouTube uh, live chat and they wanted to aggregate those two things together so it gave me an idea to work on an app to do that for them. So what I ended up uh, coming up with is a front-end app uh, written in Svelte and a Node.js service that aggregates all the chats together and then sends them to the Svelte app. So without further ado, I'm going to show you through the app and what it can do. So uh, first of all, you have to log in through Google. And then I'm going to log in as my uh, YouTube channel. So now we're uh, authenticated uh, to see YouTube chat messages. And also on the back end as well, uh, I've set it up so that a Discord bot will report the messages to to the aggregator app. So we can connect to a live stream. And as it so happens, I am on a live stream right now. Just a private one there. And if we just click the connect to active live stream, you see now we're uh, ready to go. So we've got our uh, chat window. And we can type a message into live stream. Hello from the live stream. And within 15 seconds, we'll see that message. There we go. And also as well, I have my Discord. And there it is from Discord. So yeah, we can just type whatever we like, you know, A, B, C, D, A, S, D, F, new message. And again, within 15 seconds, I'll show. And this is just a plain window that you could put into a web view. And why don't we do that? And with the chat server running, we can simply scale this to whichever size you like. So we'll see that YouTube message pop up within 15 seconds. There we go. Thought that was cool, so I thought I would just share it with you. Look in the description below for the uh, repo and also the instructional video on how to set everything up to get this to work, because there is a little bit of a uh, config involved. So yeah, check it out. I should say as well, uh, in addition to connecting to a live stream, you can actually connect to a upcoming streams chat, so the one that hasn't started yet. And the way you do that is you just take this V parameter and you can just paste it in this box here, hit connect, and you connected. So I've got uh, my chat window. And this is just coming from a Discord channel and a server that I created. Yep, and that's that. Hey everyone. So I've been uh, quite busy this week uh, working on uh, map work some more. Um, I took a, a week off my job for just a short holiday. So I decided to work on some projects um, quite intensely. So um, as you may have seen in some of my current streams or previous streams, um, I've been working on uh, modernizing map work, um, making it work with some new web technologies that, you know, really bring it up to date since uh, uh, some of the technology that was used in 2013. My uh, main priority has been to eradicate all the old fashioned jQuery code and move over to a front end framework. And the current one that I'm trying out is uh, Svelte. So um, I made quite good progress of that. Previously, we, in our app dot Svelte, we had um, we had uh, a lot of uh, sort of raw HTML, which is a massive file full of HTML elements. And thankfully, now I've got nearly everything into into actual Svelte components. So I I, I kind of took a bit of a bit of a top down approach and just took everything, put it into sensible uh, components. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we've got wizards, and they correspond to this new map process and also we have like a dummy dialogue for uh, exporting bundles because that doesn't currently work at the moment but then what I've also done now um the past few days is I've moved on to migrating the uh, the shelves so these things here to uh, Svelte components 
and I can I'm happy to say that I've actually got all of this functionality working in the uh, palette here so everything works as it did this was broken for a good few hours it took a lot of figuring out to do this but it seems to be working as it did before so I'll just open that component up and we've got the palette menu here yeah so instead of having everything in uh, I'll show you in this editor environment file which we used to be I think it was 2000 lines long it's still 1700 uh, lines long but it's getting smaller what I'm just doing gradually is taking the functionality from here all of the jQuery event listeners and all the stuff that was like manually pushing and creating DOM elements and I'm just gradually migrating it over into Svelte components as you can see here migrating things into their own classes and lifting out event handlers into their respective components so for the palette what we've got here is component to represent the tile picker so this part here or this this part here rather this is this rendered canvas and then instead of having click events in the environment js file as jquery selectors or as jquery event handlers uh, we have like actual svelte event listeners so all the work gets done here there's kind of a little bit of a halfway house code here where i am still referencing the edit and environment file but over time i'll make it so that i don't have to do that move to the palette menu here again we have a reference to that editor environment file but the actual work's being done in the svelte file now so we have our html in the component and then we have the functions to represent the event handlers so yeah the general plan is to move away from using using jquery to have have a event handlers inside the components where they actually are being used rather than just this horrible monolithic file i've also done the majority of the work for layers as well so now you can now you can yeah so <laughs> adding layers and moving them up and down isn't quite uh, finished yet so yeah that's what i've got got done for now um i'm going to be focusing on finishing the implementation for layers and then i'll also implement the uh properties menu and the settings menu and then when that's done i think we'll probably pretty much have feature parity with with the uh, app before i started this when we get to that point hopefully there won't be any jquery left in that editor environment file and if there's anything remaining that i'm sure i can uh, refactor out and we can make this file obsolete and hopefully at least won't be any jquery so that's the plan for now that's all i got to show for now so i hope you enjoyed that um i've got lots of projects in the works i hope to be making uh, more videos and uh, more updates and um, i hope that everyone out there is doing well in this time of uh, lockdown and isolation and you have some good projects to work on so yeah uh, keep spirits up keep working on your projects and uh, please let me know if you've got anything you want to show uh, project wise anyway that's all i've got to show for now so um have a good day and uh, stay tuned